Hey, welcome to my channel. I'm Anna, I'm a licensed architect, and today we will talk about how our homes have the power to impact our mental health. At first glance, the connection doesn't seem to be so apparent, so let me demystify it for you. Are you ready? Here it is. Our homes impact how we feel, how we feel impacts our stress level, and our stress level impacts our mental health. Let me explain that in more detail. Think how you feel when you walk into a room with large windows, a tall ceiling, with a lot of natural light, maybe a view towards a garden, versus how you feel walking into a small space with no windows, no views, maybe with a harsh fluorescent light. Maybe you hear a weird buzzing noise from somewhere, and then there is this smell, like somebody left some wet shoes there for too long. Imagine you'll have to spend a couple of hours in either of these spaces. How do you feel about the first one? Maybe you feel enthusiastic, relaxed, calm, inspired. What about the second one? Do you feel uncomfortable, annoyed, uh, repulsed by the smell, scared perhaps to spend a prolonged amount of time in what looks like a closet? So you see, we have feelings about the spaces we spend time in. And we do choose where we spend our time based on how we feel about that space. Now, how do the emotions we feel in a space impact our stress levels? Spending one time in a closet-like space, even if it is uncomfortable, might not cause traumatic damage for most people. But imagine that it is your home. Or your home is a version of that. The small, poorly lit space with a weird noise and a funny smell. And then you went to work in something that doesn't look much different than a closet, like a cubicle. And your entire time would be spent between the closet and the cubicle. Do you think you would start to feel stressed at some point? And maybe your home is not this extreme, but we all have seen spaces that have raised our stress levels. Let me give you some examples. Endless hotel corridors, restaurant kitchens, shopping malls, and grocery stores. There are many spaces that make us feel disoriented and uncomfortable. And while you might not be able to pinpoint what it is, you feel a sense of relief when you take your first steps outside and into the sunshine. Okay, so we understand that our homes can make us feel something. And prolonged and repeated negative feelings can increase our levels of stress. Now, how do we get to mental health? Full disclaimer here, I'm not a doctor, I'm just an architect. But I love reading about environmental psychology. I'm curious about understanding how our built environment makes people feel. For example, if you were a chocolate manufacturer, wouldn't you want to know which chocolate people like the best? So do I. I'm interested in understanding what type of design makes people the happiest because that would make me a better designer. And while there are no studies linking space design with severe mental illness, there are plenty of studies linking space design with levels of depression and an overall sense of well-being, or lack thereof. For example, the types of spaces you spend time in can impact how much natural light you get. A lack of sunlight may lead to lower levels of serotonin, a hormone that affects your mood, your appetite, and sleep, and is linked to feelings of depression. Personalizing one space with photos, art, furniture arrangements, can provide a sense of control and belonging, enhancing mental well-being. But plenty of rental homes limit the scope of personalization by not allowing the renters to paint the walls or hang paintings on the wall, impacting their feelings of control and belonging. Finally, biophilic design, which incorporates natural materials, plants, and views to nature, has been found to reduce stress, improve cognitive function, and enhance mood, Studies have shown that even pictures of nature or sounds of nature can have a positive effect on mental health. So home design impacts feelings, feelings impact stress levels, and prolonged stress can have negative effects on our overall sense of well-being. If you enjoyed this video, do hit the like button, and if you're interested in seeing another one of my videos, home interior design for minimal cleaning is currently very popular.